Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to unlock your FPS on Roblox. Normally, Roblox FPS is blocked at 60 FPS. In this video, I'll show you guys how to unlock that so it can go to the max potential of your PC. So to do it, it's really simple. So just follow along to all my steps and you'll be able to unlock your FPS on Roblox. So first things first, you want to go to this GitHub website. I'll put the link to the website in the description below. But once you're on this website, you want to go over on the right hand side of the screen. There should be a copy button right here. Go ahead and click on that and you'll have copied all this text right here. Now, once you have copied it, you want to go to your desktop and once you're on your desktop, Desktop, go ahead and right click and then you want to go ahead and look for new and once you find new go ahead and open a text document and once you do that it's going to open right here and once you have it right here you want to name it client app settings.json make sure you put the dot json right there and once you do that it'll ask if you want to change a file name extension and the file might become unstable you just want to click yes once you do that it's going to open right here you want to go ahead and double click on it it'll open right here and you want to control v and paste all the text that you just copied so in this text right here the cap for the fps is at the very top right here you can change this to whatever you think the best fit for your pc is so mine would be about 240 but it might be different for you once you go ahead and do that you can go ahead and close out of it and click save you are going to want to open roblox's file location so you want to look for roblox player so go ahead and search for it in the search bar down here and once you find it you're going to want to go ahead and right click on it and then click open file location once you open the file location from here you want to go ahead and find it again and then click the open file location now once you're here you're going to want to go ahead and add a new file to the roblox player so go ahead and right click anywhere on the page right here and you want to go over down to new and you want to add a folder once you add a new folder you're going to want to go ahead and add it as client settings once you do that, you can click off of it and it'll save right here. Now that you have that right here, you're going to want to go ahead and grab the client app settings.json and drag it into the client settings, just like that. So it might drop down right here. You want to drag it into the client settings or the client app settings.json is now in the client settings. So you might run into a couple problems while you're doing this. So here are a couple of the major problems you'll run into. So first, you're going to want to make sure that you spell everything the exact same way that I spelled it. So if it's not working right now, go back through the video and watch it over again and make sure that everything's spelled correctly. Second, you want to make sure that your JSON file is actually a JSON file and not a text document. It'll say so in the file locator. So if you hover over the client app settings, it should show the type right below it. As you can see, this says type JSON file, but if it says type text file, then that's not the correct type. So if it isn't converting, you can use a website and convert it over to a JSON file to search up for a text to json file converter and third every time roblox updates you'll need to re-add the file so i would suggest keeping a client app settings out here on your desktop or somewhere else that isn't in the actual roblox app settings and you're going to want to go ahead and just copy it and then you want to paste it in here so that you have two of them and then you can just copy this one whenever you roblox updates that is exactly how you can unlock your fps on roblox so i hope this video is helpful if it was i'd really appreciate a like subscribe leave any questions you have in the comment section below i'll do my best to answer them and I'll see you guys next time.